Well, back to Bellevue now. The city council considers a recommendation to close some city parks. But that came with a lot of pushback during public comment. KETV News Watch 7's Sean McKinnon reports. The Bellevue City Council votes yes on a master parks plan the first time in over 15 years. The plan recommends decommissioning eight parks, an issue packing council chambers and leading to more than an hour of public comment Tuesday night. Whatever time you spend in our park was uh, clearly not enough. Our park is used quite a bit more than is recommended by the study that was done. The master plan noting that Bellevue's budget lacks in comparison to similar sized U.S. cities, but outpaces the green spaces they have. What are the parks that today maybe aren't being used uh, as well? Um, or might be an opportunity to do something else with those parks. One family playing Tuesday at Gilder Park says they drive there for all the space it has and wouldn't want to see it go. I'll be kind of sad because like I have a lot of memories right here. Some of the eight parks could be sold to developers or gifted to a next door neighbor like ones near Bellevue Public Schools. Timothy Millard says that would effectively shut off community access. I can go to any of the parks in Bellevue until about 10 p.m. If we hand those over to the public school system, they're not really available unless you're a student. Millard and others say they wanted their local park to be walking distance. I want to be able to take my family to a park that's an eight minute walk away versus a 25 minute walk. Small parks that are local to us, they're important to us, to our families, to the people who play frisbee, walk their dogs, go out and play ball. The council stressed that although the plan passed Tuesday, any further action would need to go back before them at public hearing. We appreciate you coming out. We listen to what you say and then we take it into um, accordance and, and work, try and make it a win-win situation for everyone. Sean McKinnon, KETV Newswatch 7.